Here's a brief video on how to use the CSF filter in Cloud Compare. Um, so the first step you do is just you can drag and drop your .laz or E57 file right into Cloud Compare. And just select Apply All and accept that scale factor. This will take a little bit to load up. Okay, after dragging and dropping the LAS file into Cloud Compare, um, you can see the point clouds loaded. It takes a little bit. This is a, it's a rather big uh, point cloud file. You can see the total number of points right here. It's over 122 million points. Um, so, <clears throat> You can kind of take a little gander of um, this. This is a, a top-down, a plan view. Uh, take a little side profile views. And you can see there's some noise up here on the top. And then even here below, there's some noise. Um, but we're going to just see what the CSF uh, filter will do if it'll clean up this stuff on the bottom. And if not, there's another tool we could use to um, uh, segment that data out so it's not a part of the ground points and then all of this, the building, the power poles, trees, and stuff like that, that's all going to get segmented into off-ground points. So um, I'll go back to plan view. And it's, you can see that it's, it's highlighted here. And you can tell that it's highlighted with this little um, yellow box. Right there around the point cloud. So now that it's highlighted and selected, just hit the CSF filter. And it's a relatively flat site. So I'll accept that and then as far as the advanced parameter settings I'm gonna just leave them at the default of 2 500 and 0.5 for classification threshold and then um, then you just hit OK and this will take a little bit and you can see this this point cloud actually shut off and now you can kind of take a gander of what was considered classified as ground points and what was classified as off ground so I'll first shut off the off ground points and you'll see all the stuff that around the buildings um, those got shut off around these storage containers the the vehicles here um, those got classified as off ground so um, I'm going to take a look at a profile view of what was classified and it actually cleaned it up pretty good it took all the there was some noise on the bottom here and we could take a look at I'm gonna look at the this data first so you can see it just took off it took all that all this noise here on the bottom and then all this other point cloud data on the top um, got classified as off ground so this stuff on the bottom you can actually if you want to you can you can clip that you can segment that out um, but now you have a set of ground points and then you can um, you can do a you could save that as um, the bin is the default um, file format for cloud compare but now you could save it as a whatever file format you want to so since we're working in LAS we'll just keep it as a LAS format and 
we'll just call it ground points. And it's just going to save the ground points for this one. And I just use the original resolution and it will it will change them back to um, the original real world coordinate system that it was in. So this will take a little bit. Okay, that one's done. And now you can select the off ground and I'm going to shut that one off. You can see there's still this noise up here. So we could we could use this other tool to change the what we're going to clip out. Actually, I have to cancel this for a second. So using the ground, I have this one highlighted now, and you can kind of see, you can see all this noise way up on the top and all this noise on the bottom. I'm going to, I'm going to cut all this stuff on the top, and then I'm going to cut this stuff out on the bottom. So this is now highlighted the off ground and then you use this cross section tool and then you could just move this up see about there zoom out a little bit and clear all that other noise up there there's nothing else above that and then you can export that selection as a new entity so and that's just going to be added. And now you can see you can X this. So now if you shut that off, you can see that the off ground points dot selection is just the um, the off ground points minus this noise at the top and this noise on the bottom. You may have to go in and actually do some finer detail uh, trimming here, but um, just for a, just a quick and dirty method of doing that. Um, there's another tool you can use, and it's a um, it's a clipping. Uh, it's actually I think it's called the segment tool. So I'm going to shut this one off. I'm going to turn this one back on and we're still looking at this uh, profile view so all these points up here if you wanted to just do a, uh, a segment actually oh, let me cancel that you have to first highlight that see it's highlighted now with the yellow box now that that one's highlighted then you could hit the segment tool and now I can just make a little window Looks like there's a little pixel up there there's one way over there too oh. I think I got them all uh, let me let me do that again because there is there's a couple pixels way up on the top here so uh, it's highlighted. Select the scissors, the segment tool, and just window around. And you can go outside the box too, it's okay. And you want to keep everything that is outside the box. So you want to segment out. So that's gone. And then you can just delete that selection by the garbage can or if you hit the check mark it's gonna make two separate point clouds so it's gonna have all of this data and below as one and then this part here as another cloud but that other stuff up here is just noise so I'm gonna hit the delete selection and you can see how that clean that up and then you could also do the same 
on the bottom there you may want to do some fine details and kind of see what what you're cutting out there but a lot of this is like some reflections from uh, some water um, does really strange things and will like kind of create these points that are they're, they're bogus points so anyway so that's the way to um, create two separate surfaces a ground surface and a uh, off ground um, points and then you could do an export uh, after you've cleaned up your off ground points then you could do that same process of exporting that as a dot laz or dot e57 so anyway thank you for watching the video